Well, as seems to be the pattern, we once again have too many stories to be able to give you a rundown, even here in this three to five minute video. I'm only going to be able to hit the headlines on some of them, and I'm going to refer you to the website, RadioFreeSpeech.com, to get the rest. Remember, I've got links to all of the stories and from their original sources. Plus, of course, I've got a 30-minute audio version that I email to all of my paid subscribers at RadioFreeSpeech.com. First, could North Korea actually hit Alaska with a missile? A lot of people talking about it with these new tests. The answer is, quite simply, yes, they could. Senator Dan Sullivan thinks it's a matter of when not if, and that missile that hits Alaska could be nuclear. He's not saying it's likely that they're going to aim at Alaska, but he is saying that it's likely it's going to hit Alaska. Something to consider as we continue to be afraid. Alaska Senate is considering cutting the PFD in half. That uh, They could actually talk about that today. Another avalanche blocked the Dalton Highway over at Attigan Pass over the weekend, and... There is a toddler who is currently recovering in a hospital after being thrown into a piano bench by his babysitter. Emergency response exercise is planned for Fairbanks International Airport today. They're saying that you're likely to see a lot of uniformed emergency responders and some staged vehicles there. Don't be alarmed. It's only an exercise. However, they're also restricting traffic flow because of it. And Juno is considering now that they've outlawed camping in downtown Fairbanks, or downtown Juneau, now they're actually considering opening up a winter camp for the homeless. It would be outside of town, and of course, it's also the one they're currently considering is in an avalanche zone, which they're going to be working on that right now. By the way, the borough assembly on Thursday night did, in fact, vote to give Fairbanks stricter air quality regulations. We talked about that already, and I'll talk about it some more today on my commentary especially one of the quotes from Van Lawrence, one of the borough assembly members, who said, basically, we do not have the luxury of burning wood when the air gets bad. You'll just have to freeze, folks. Also, looks like Don Young is calling on President Trump to sell wall bonds. You want to build the wall between the United States and Mexico? Sell bonds to do it, Mr. President. Also, a huge new oil fine. Repsol announcing that on Thursday up there in the North Slope. They're saying this could be absolutely epic. Also, if you're wondering what the new health care plan means for Alaskans, very simply, it means you're going to pay more and you're going to get less coverage, period. We can talk about that at some point in the future, and, but that's where it is right now with this current plan that the Republicans are considering. We also have some updates from the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race, and it looks like we've got a law that could limit Bethel liquor sales to customers who have Bethel IDs. Not sure that one would hold up under the law. We also have an assisted living home Medicaid fraud down in Anchorage, and the smoking age in Sitka. Unlikely to change. Apparently, there's some people who are resistant to changing the age. I'm not sure exactly what they would want to change it to. The article from the Daily Sitka Sentinel doesn't say. But the last story we have comes to the news miner. If you are an artist, the Tenana Valley State Fair is accepting entries for their new poster for this coming season. It's due by Wednesday, and the winner gets a season pass plus a T-shirt and a mug. Go for it. That's what we've got for our Alaska news. Make sure you check out the commentary today and please support me either by buying a subscription at radiofreespeech.com or by joining the Patreon team. Thanks.